and today is a wonderful day. Uh, Paul says that love never fails, and we're not going to let uh, anything stop us from this beautiful day. So let's open up with a word of prayer. Lord God, I thank you that you have given us this time to be able to celebrate the gift of love, that you have given us the ability to be able to be here, to uh, really worship together and celebrate the love between these beautiful, wonderful people. Lord, I thank you for the families that they've come from, that you have blessed them with the gift of life and have raised two wonderful young people who now come together. Uh, Lord, bless them, please, and bless what we do here, for we ask it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. When He created them, He created them male and female. And it says on the sixth day, when He had created everything else, when He had created the animals, He had created the, uh, the man, He said, it is not good for man to be alone. And so he created Eve. And in a very real way, I think Eve was the pinnacle of creation in God's creation. And for this reason, Jesus said, a man shall leave his father and mother and they shall become one flesh. They'll cleave together. And so I ask you now, in front of these witnesses, your parents and siblings and others watching, Jason, I ask you before God, your Creator, before these witnesses, your family and friends, do you commit yourself this day to love Stephanie, to put her life above your very own, to protect her, to provide for her, and to hold to her and only her, and, and not parted until death? If so, say, I do. I do. Stephanie, I ask you the same. Before God, your Creator, before these witnesses, your family and friends, do you commit yourself this day to love Jason, to put his life above your very own, to stand by Him, trust in Him, hold to Him and only Him until you're parted by death. If so, say, I do. I do. I'm going to ask you right now, um, Jason, to repeat after me. I, Jason, take you, Stephanie. I, Jason, take you, Stephanie. To be my lawfully wedded wife. To be my lawfully wedded wife. I promise to love you. I promise to love you. And cherish you. And cherish you. In good times or in bad. In good times or in bad. In prosperity or poverty. In prosperity or poverty. In sickness or in health. In sickness or in health. In laughter or in tears. In laughter or in tears. I will cling to you and no one else. I will cling to you and no one else. Until we are parted by death. Until we are parted by death. As God is my witness. As God is my witness. I give you this promise. I give you this promise. And Stephanie, if you will do the same. I, Stephanie, take you, Jason. I, Stephanie, take you, Jason. To be my lawfully wedded husband. To be my lawfully wedded husband. I promise to love and cherish you. I promise to love and cherish you. In good times or in bad. In good times or bad. In prosperity or poverty. In prosperity or poverty. In sickness or in health. In sickness or in health. In laughter or in tears. Laughter or in tears. I will cling to you and only you. And cling to you and only you. Until we are parted by death. Until we are parted by death. As God is my witness. As God is my witness. I give you this promise. I give you this promise. It is traditional in our society that we use rings to celebrate this time and to help us to remember. In ancient times, when a covenant was made between two people, and ultimately what's happening right here is a covenant. It's more than a promise. It's a covenant between you two and between the Lord in which you are making this decision. We have decided in our society, and I think it's altogether appropriate, that we would use a ring. You look at the symbolism. The ring is made of precious metal. If you were to lose this ring, I'm quite sure you would search for it. And you would do everything you could to find it because it's not only worth a lot physically and it's beautiful, but it's worth a lot even more emotionally and ceremonially. But in the same way, you need to fight for your marriage to work, fight for your love, search for it, do what it takes to make it and realize how precious it is. It's in the, the form of a circle. And just as this circle never ends, let your love never end. And every time you look at this ring on your hand, when you're together, or more importantly, when you're not, I want you to remember on this March the 28th, 2020, that you made a commitment to one another, that you would love one another, you would stand beside one another in the good times or in bad. If you would take this ring and place it upon her left hand and repeat after me. This ring is a token of my love. This ring is a token of my love. To you. To you. It's a symbol of my desire. 
It's a symbol of my desire. To be bound to you. To be bound to you. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. Come with me and be my wife. Come with me and be my wife. And I will be your husband. And I will be your husband. And in the same way, Stephanie, I'll ask you to take this ring and place it upon his finger as well. And repeat after me. This ring is a token of my love. This ring is a token of my love. It is a symbol. It is a symbol. Of my desire to be bound to you. Of my desire to be bound to you. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. Come and be my husband. Come and be my husband. And I will be your wife. And I will be your wife. In the Bible, one of the words that really wasn't talking about a marriage, but it sure does fit. When Ruth and Naomi were talking together, Ruth made this proclamation to her mother-in-law. And she said, my people will be your people and my God will be your God. Where you go, I will go. And where you stay, I will stay. And where you die, I will die. Let it be said of you that no matter where you go, you will go together. You will stand together in love. Let me pray for you one more time. Lord God, I thank you that the first miracle that we see Jesus doing in the Word of God is at a wedding. And He brought about more celebration. And this is a time of celebration. We celebrate two beautiful families. We celebrate the gift of love. We celebrate what has come and what will come, regardless of what goes on around us. Lord, I ask Your blessing upon this marriage. Lord, protect them from the evil one. Protect them from anyone that would draw them apart. Help them to draw closer to you and in doing so, draw closer to one another. Lord, help them to be more than they could possibly be apart, that together they would make a difference in your kingdom and a difference in this world to make it a better place that your kingdom would come here on earth as it is in heaven. And Lord, we'll give you all the praise in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Because you have come together and you've made vows in front of your friends and family and Almighty God. You've expressed this love through the giving of a gift which is a symbol of your commitment to one another by the authority invested in me by the state of North Carolina, and more importantly, as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ, let me say that you are indeed husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. Love you. Love you. <laughs> well, let me be the first to introduce to you all Mr. and Mrs. Stephanie and Jason Blackman. <laughs> God bless you. Do I walk down now? Do we go this way? <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.